errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the start, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal... Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing... I just wish they weren't always trying... Yeah. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy! Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. <sighs> so, uh, hey, Loy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago, you didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. 
So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bainus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. 
The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. But I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Is your focus acting up again? That's fine. see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. 
I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. Maybe. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines? Get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have her.
Use the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. of messages back in the day. All over the world, too. Can't let the cold distract me. A few days ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there, too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be, if you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Too. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with a scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers. Right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to Plainsong. 
for the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Nutaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him. Whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song? Or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain song. But I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed. But I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. You know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? She'll find that Nilo guy? I thought you didn't care. I don't. Not really. I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stumps. Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. Glad I could help. I hope you find what you're looking for in River Him. Stranger, be on the lookout for poison.
My day just got a bit better. What have you done? Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Spring, there are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts, but it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that, they taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. I'm here looking for someone. One of your healers. Our healers are helping the wounded. Whoever you're looking for can wait till River Him is no longer under attack. Fair enough. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mobs leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, 
and we are running out of time. If the Savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. We could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground that my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Here, there might be some underwater. Maybe they can lead me someplace with a path through these caves.
these caves.
Find those wide moths. 